Okay, these are ridiculous. They're different. Mm, it's like I have claws. How do you function? I don't really. Come on. You know, I work with this girl who has really long nails too, and so she has to type with this like stabbing motion. Well, that is a talent that I haven't acquired. Okay, you know, the worst part is that I can't even make a phone call. Just tap it. Well, I've tried that. Maybe I just need more practice. The second worst part is the weight. They're heavy? Yeah, it's like I'm dragging my knuckles on the ground. So why did you get them? I don't know, the manicurist lady recommended them. I was going for sophisticated. Instead of functional? <laughs> Emma, didn't you have acrylics for a while? Hmm? What? Oh, yeah, a long time ago. Are you okay? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you seem distracted. No, I'm just... I'm bored. Not with... I'm antsy because... Because none of you will let me set you up on a blind date and it hurts my heart. Oh no, everybody head for the hills. I don't know why one of you won't just volunteer when you know it brings me such happiness. And us uh, such misery. You know what, I have a better idea for your boredom. Oh yeah? How about we set you up? <laughs> Not gonna happen. I like that idea. Yes. Well, you can forget it, because I'm perfectly capable of finding a man on my own. Well, so are we, but that doesn't stop you. Yeah, it's only fair. What, so you three are just gonna set me up? Ooh, count me in. No, you don't get to chime in. She won't even let me set her up on a... Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, why? You look blue. blue. Like a smurf. No, I don't. What? Do you have a fever or? Let me feel. No. She's not hot. Okay, are you sure that you're not like feeling off at all? I'm fine. I Honey, mean, maybe you should go see a doctor. Why? What if it's serious? It could be like hypothermia. But she's not cold. Could be a circulation thing. You really should go see a doctor. <laughs> it's too expensive. It's your health. Yeah, well, I need the money for other things. What's more important than your health? Yeah. A new comforter for my bed? Rianne. What? I'm redecorating. Look, I have a doctor friend. I can call him if you want. I'm fine, thank you. But if anything changes, I will let you all know. Unbelievable. All right, let's get back to setting you up. No. No! Okay, well, we're not gonna go out with your guys if you don't go out with ours. It's only fair. Do you even have anybody in mind? Oh, yes, I have the perfect guy. So do I. Oh, really? Mm hmm Relax, you're in good hands. Fine. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Like the three witches of the West yeah. here. Yeah. Plotting. My guy first. Mine. No, I have had this perfect guy in mind ever since she set me up with that guy that was picking his nose the whole time. Okay, I'm second. Fine with me, I can wait. Save the best for last. <laughs> Will you help me call? Yeah, just push dial. Thank you. That was not cool. What? Oh, your perfect guy you set me up with? Yeah, not so perfect. Oh, come on, he's sweet. He showed up in this MC Hammer gold jumpsuit thing and told me we were gonna go boogie. Yes, he said the word boogie. That's right, he told me he wanted to take you dancing. Do you have any idea how we got to the club? Well, there she is. Hope you don't mind helmet hair. Don't worry, sit in the back and that way no one sees up your skirt. I thought you would like somebody that was physically fit. <sighs> Biking is really good for you and it's better for the environment than driving. It couldn't have been all bad. Tell me about the club. Well, then first of all, it took us three hours to get there. By bike. At least you got your workout. I lost a shoe. Oh, did that interfere with your dancing? <laughs> yeah, if that's what you want to call it. This is great, huh? He called me and told me he lost track of you at the club. Yeah, because I was hiding from him in the bathroom. So that should tell you how bad of a date he was. Well, I'm sorry. I'll find somebody better suited for you next time. <laughs> no, there will be no next time. Ever, ever.
Morning. Hey. Oh, hey, I made some cinnamon rolls. Oh, I didn't know you cooked. Yeah, full of surprises, huh? We're even on sale two cans for three bucks. Cans? Mm-hmm. Thanks, where are they at? On the counter. Well, did you eat them all? No, no, there's they're still some there. Gee, thanks. Glad to see you still have an appetite. Yeah, why, why wouldn't I? You still look sick. Oh, come on. No, I'm serious. I thought you were looking better last night, but you're all blue again. Well, I don't know why. Well, maybe you're not getting enough oxygen or something. Oh my gosh, I am fine. You're blue. Well, I had a blueberry smoothie last night. <sighs> don't be ridiculous. I don't know what it is, but I am not going to see the doctor. I think I should call Grant's friend. Eleanor. Or we can completely wait until you turn into a Smurf. Good morning. Yes, because I barely survived your psycho friend. Oh, what happened? It was awful. He takes me on this date. We go to a drive-in movie, which is fine. But he had transformed the back of his truck into this emergency bunker thing to prevent against unnatural or natural disasters. Do you want something to eat? Um, oh, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Are you sure? Cause... Oh, crap. Oh. Here, you have two. That is a lot of popcorn. <laughs> Never really seen someone quite this prepared before. It's. I know, right? <sighs> this is just something that Jenny, she would always criticize me about my preparedness. But, like, what's wrong with being prepared for the unthinkable? Um, Jenny was your ex? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry. I miss her so much. Oh. Oh, Jenny. Yeah, Jenny. I thought he was gonna be a perfect fit because he's so ready to love. No, he is so ready to be committed. But she just couldn't accept me for who I am, you know? Yeah. What would you do if there was a flash flood right now? Oh, I would go to higher ground, maybe? <laughs> no? Yeah, no, higher ground. Not, yeah, that's cool. I mean, for some people. But me? Mm -hmm. With this bad boy, I'm ready for whatever comes. Oh, yeah. That's something that Jenny, she just couldn't get behind. Is that a boat? <laughs> a boat, that's cute. It's actually a dinghy. Oh, right. It's just nuts. You just need to be open to somebody who's still wounded. I was open. I even tried to comfort him. And then that just made him cry. Again. Hey, at least he's sensitive, right? I mean, he appreciates romantic movies. Appreciates? <laughs> Can you believe that? What? Like any woman like that could look past all that guy's flaws. She's incredible. She's like a nine or a ten, and he's like a hundred pounds overweight, unemployed, and obsessed with his dog. It's just a movie, and it's a romantic movie, so she's supposed to be able to move past all of those little flaws so that she can pursue true love. <laughs> true love. Jenny said that she was gonna love me forever. She promised. When she told me that I was overweight, I went on a diet. I lost 50 pounds. Look at me, I am wasting away here. Oh, oh, don't, oh, don't, no, okay. I'm an emotional eater. Okay. You moron! She doesn't really love you! She's gonna rip your heart out and stop on it! Uh, You're sheep! You're all sheep! Every one of you! Wow, okay, I didn't realize he'd taken the breakup that hard. I just feel bad for that Jenny girl. He says that in the event that they do an emergency evacuation, he's still planning on whisking her away to his cabin in the woods in the middle of nowhere, and then when the rest of humanity dies, they will repopulate the Earth. I'm sorry, Emma. It sounds like it was an awful date. Oh, it does, does it? Mm -hmm. Don't think I don't see what you lot are up to. What? We're not up to anything. I am on to you. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Hey, how are you feeling? 
Uh, you know, I'm getting really sick of that question. So, did you hear about Emma? What do you mean? Oh, come on. Eleanor already told me. Uh, I know. We're terrible. Yes, you are. Why wasn't I in on this? Because you haven't had to put up with one of her terrible setups. Eh, technicalities. I had this perfect guy in mind for her. We went to some Mexican restaurant for dinner. Uh, how'd it go? He kept trying to play it off as authentic, but really it was just a hole in the wall. Eh, they usually are. He kept ordering the hottest thing on the menu to try and impress me. <laughs> Did it work? Well, basically he set his mouth on fire and whatever he was eating was so hot he actually started turning red. Really? He was yeah. turning red? Yeah, it was really awkward. <laughs> well, you do know awkward. Okay, you know, that is totally different. <laughs> Brandon. Hi. Marianne Dashwood. Marianne, Brandon. Wow. You do look blue. Gee, thanks, Doc. Oh, I'm, I'm not a doctor. You're not? Uh-uh. I'm a nurse. Oh. Oh, no, sorry. No, 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 it's I... okay. I, I get that a lot. So, how do you two know each other? Grant? Ah, uh, he's my sister-in-law's ex-boyfriend's brother's cousin. Wow. Really? <laughs> no, no, no. We play basketball on Thursday nights. And Brandon can't sink a three-pointer to save his life. No, that's not true. If someone could set a pick correctly, I might be able to. The what? I, 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 don't worry about it. Uh, let's just talk about your symptoms. I don't have any symptoms. Besides being blue, obviously. Okay, yes, I'm blue. I'm blue. Uh, fever? Nope. Chills? No. Shortness of breath? Nope. Lightheaded? No. Are you taking any new medications? No. Uh, how about any pains? Nope. This is gonna take a while. I'll uh, leave you guys. Hey. Please, tell me you're not planning on setting me up on some disastrous mismatch date. Oh, would I do that? I've already been set up with that Disco dancing tandem bike man and that emotionally damaged survival nut. I just, I can't take any more. Emma, don't worry. This guy, he's nice, he's generous and fun, and he, he likes to do outdoorsy things. Oh, outdoorsy. Yeah, it'll be a nice change of pace, get you some fresh air. Okay. Okay. Uh, and he said something about dressing warm. Really? Why? I don't know. He said he wanted to take you to some lake far away in some mountain somewhere. No, like, how far? I don't know. Grant! Emma, if your other dates were so bad, this one can only get better. Fine. Okay. See you later. <laughs> your pulse seems normal. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm Brandon. Eleanor Dashwood. I'm Mary Ann's sister. So what'd you find? Her health seems completely normal. Really? It's alarming though, right? It's more like perplexing. So what do you think it is? I go see a doctor and investigate it further, but aren't from you what a doctor? Know, I'm a nurse. A nurse? Yeah. Sorry, I just thought. That all nurses are women? No no. Yeah, so did I. So, come on, what do you think? Based on the blue alone, I'd say hypothermia. But I'm not cold. Cyanosis. I don't know what that is, but I highly doubt it. What else? It could be a major case of sleep apnea. You're guessing. Sorta. Um, maybe it's Argeria. What is that? You don't want it. Have you been eating a lot of blueberries lately? Gee. Blueberries. Uh, can that actually make a difference? Well, it depends. I had a blueberry smoothie. Just one? Yeah. Hey, y'all. Uh, Lizzie, Brandon. Brandon, Lizzie, no, he's not a doctor, he's a nurse. Nice to meet you. Hey. So where's Emma? So, Mike, is this something that you do a lot? You mean ice fishing? Oh, yeah. All the time. But uh, you can call me Stinky. Stinky? Yeah, my friends call me Stinky. My natural aroma helps me blend in. The animals don't know I'm there. Oh. She smell nice, though. 
Thank you. I just hope it don't scare away the fish. Oh. So, um, how long does this ice fishing usually take? You know, I usually stay out here all day. But uh, we got a late start, so we're gonna have to fish into the night. It's okay, though, because the fish, they bite better when it gets dark. Well, in that case, is there a bathroom around here? Nope. But don't you worry, I came prepared. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go back here. So, you're a nurse? Yes. How's that? It's rewarding, mostly. Why don't you just become a doctor? I didn't want to. Why not? You know, I just wanted to keep my salary just pretty average. <laughs> right. No, no, um, really, I, I didn't want to do all the studying when I knew I just wanted to help take care of people, you know, when they need it the most. Wow, that's really sweet. Well, uh, thank you for the help. I gotta get back to work. Yeah, no problem. If I was any help. <laughs> I see you took off the nails. Oh, I had to. I couldn't get anything done with them on. Okay, I know those are fake, but that is still disgusting. Yeah, get rid of those. Oh. Hey, so tell me more about Marianne. I don't really know much about her symptoms. Um, Dude. Oh. Hey, Allie. Your turn. Oh, I don't really know how to do that. It's easy, come on. Oh, did he? Okay. Okay, um, oh, something's on it. You got one? You got a fish off! Fish off! Who are you? You got one? Who are you Pull stabbing Pull her in! Pull her in! I am pulling Pull her in! Duck! Oh, she is feisty. I got something for this. What? I did. You're dead to me. You'll get over it. Seriously, I am not that bad when I set you up with people. All right, I may have been a little harsh when I set you up with Mike, but <laughs> considering the combined dating experiences that you've put me through, it could have been much, much worse. Okay, but you understand that when I set you up, I'm not intentionally trying to make you miserable, right? I know, I know. I just think you get a little caught up in the idea of a couple and you forget about some of the details. Like what? Well, like, um, compatibility and, uh, attraction. Oh, every girl that I've ever set you up with has been beautiful. I'm just saying, you get a little caught up in the possibilities and you forget about the reality. Fine, I'm sorry. Look, from now on, I promise I won't set you up without your permission. Really? Yes. No more nagging me, even if this one is the perfect girl for me. No, no more. No more setups unless you specifically ask me to. Okay. Okay. Deal. But in the future, you will act Not a chance. <sighs> Hey guys. Hey, you're not blue anymore. Wow, what happened? Well, we figured it out. 
So, what was it? Uh, <laughs> do you want me to tell them? Mm, I gotta go to work. <laughs> hey, what do you think? Does this new comforter match my new sheets? Your new sheets? Yeah, got them last week. Really? Okay, Eleanor, don't go off about how I need to save money. That's not what I was thinking. Marianne, did you wash these before you put them on your bed? Why? They're new, they're clean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no way. The sheets. Yeah, so the blue dye was rubbing off on her skin every night. <laughs> That's hilarious. I know. Wait, was she able to get it off everywhere? Mm hmm she scrubbed until all the hot water was gone. Well, I would assume she washed her sheets, too. Yes, and you can tell by her white shirt. White? <laughs> I don't know how that girl has gone so long without separating whites from colors. Well, at least she's back to human color. <laughs>